to the page of pentacles in reverse immediate short-term focus so your immediate short-term focus needs to be having some closure and some healing with temperance in reverse right nine of wands in reverse how long are you going to hold on to this whole thing to the wheel of fortune in reverse how long are you going to allow yourself to block your own forward progress in the rest of your life you are giving this past situation way too much power over your life way too much power over your life you're letting whatever this was that happened to you in the past control your future the sun your happiness your success and your vitality depends upon your ability to heal yourself learn your lesson and carry on with your self pisces your happiness your success and your vitality will come from it but we got the old el diablo right there right an attachment that is a restriction to your growth remember we talked about spiritual growth and accountability whatever this is on this side for you is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and you will not find happiness success and vitality while you are chained to the foot of this attachment that is restricting you from growing and being and having success in your life pisces it's your girl dana the gypsy psychic y'all come on in gather around the table put your feet up get your blanket snuggle up put your ear pods in get you something to drink something to smoke something to eat something to snack on and let's throw down some tarot cards y'all gather around come on come on gather around this table right here let's throw down some cards for pisces okay all right you guys so it's gonna work like it always works it's gonna work like it always works <laughs> i'm gonna shuffle i'm gonna pray I'm gonna lay out at least 15 cards we'll talk about it as i clarify it and we will um sew together a story and i'll go back to the top and i'll read it okay so let's figure out what's going on with pisces so spirit source universal energy i have the collective of pisces with me and pisces wants to know what you know spirit what do you know about pisces and what does pisces need to know and understand about themselves and most importantly most importantly spirit how do they navigate for their best and highest good the tarot will always point you in the direction of your best and highest good spirit how does pisces navigate for their best and highest good the coming situations and circumstances spirit i'm going to shuffle a couple more times i'll cut three times and i will pull straight from the top please continue to arrange yourself they're nice pisces please continue to arrange yourself in the order by which you need to be seen boom sweet spot right there all right we recording we got it what's my parameters right here okay all right ready let's cut three times let's go one that did not count did you see that one little card fall let's try that one more time let's cut three times and see what we get let's go one two three one two three bottom of the deck the princess of cups messages of creation all right pisces first card out is oh we gotta go way over here first card out is the eight of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse is about possibly perfectionism super high standards that nobody can touch um eight of pentacles in reverse is about lacking ambition lacking focus and inability to work or fix something the ace of wands inspired new beginnings passionate new beginnings but not necessarily in the romantic field right i mean passion spans all kinds of things right um in the and if you look in the camera this ace of wands is pointing this way right so you're leaving this okay all right the world in reverse there's a blockage in your life the moon possibly something that you don't see 
possibly you really being in your Pisces-ness, um, searching some feelings. The hanged man, pausing, surrendering, your will being broken, time out, the thinking chair. Look at that. We have three major arcanas in a row, but there's a blockage. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. The Ten of Swords, endings, painful endings, permanent endings. Loneliness, feeling abandoned and alone. Interesting. The wheel in reverse. Wow. Blockage, right? There's See, the world and the wheel are the two cards of the major arcana that push things forward. Throw the chariot in there a little bit, right? Pushes things forward. They are the vehicles by which you undergo the transformation of every life cycle, okay? Or life, life phase, phase of your life, okay? So both of these cards, I want to point out, the world in reverse and the wheel in reverse, both of them are rooted in critical self-analysis. It's true. The only time a cycle begins or ends in your life is when you have learned what it is you're supposed to learn. And you learn what it is you're supposed to learn by sitting back with some critical self-analysis and going, huh, well, that shit didn't work. <laughs> Not going to do that again right? Lesson learned, right? So there is some critical self-analysis that needs to happen in order to have some kind of inspired, passionate new beginning because, well, we'll see what that Eight of Pentacles is about, but you're all in your feels. <sighs> Processing, pausing. Don't know what that is, but it's a blockage same critical self-analysis. Oh my God, justice in reverse. I can't make this up. It's an injustice. What's an injustice? Well, the, the injustice is that these two huge blockages, which I think are the same blockage, but we'll see as we go, right? I'm going to clarify all of this and go back to the top and read this in a fluid story. Um, so hold on. Okay, so justice in reverse is in the center of your reading, okay? The reading, the tone of the reading is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse for me. First card out sets the tone of the reading. This is a lack of ambition, a lack of focus, an inability to fix something, um, can't fix something, perfectionism, super high standards that can't be attained. We'll see what that is in a second. That sets the tone for the reading. Justice in reverse in the center of this spread is what the spread revolves around. It revolves around some kind of injustice, possibly a lack of accountability, possibly your own lack of accountability, Pisces, because it is major arcana and it's spirit speaking to you. And it's about um, unfairness, um, um, dishonesty. It's an injustice, right? It's never in your best interest. Justice in the upright is always in your best interest. Justice in the reverse is never in your best interest. So whatever this blockage is here, which we're going to find out, is the injustice in your life. The Four of Pentacles. Control. Stability. The King of Swords in reverse. Anger. Manipulation. Lying. No boundaries. The Two of Swords at a crossroads. The Four of Wands stable harmony in your life, the eight of swords all tied up in your head, the nine of wands in reverse, um, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, temperance in reverse, something that needs to heal, something that's not. We'll see. To the five of cups, loss, regret, the seven of swords. Oh my God, you guys, what the hell is happening here? Betrayal, deception, the chariot in reverse, blockage. Remember I said, throw the chariot in the mix. There it is, and it's in the reverse. It's a blockage. The queen of cups in reverse, emotional codependency, insecurity, the seven of wands, your challenge, the ace of cups in reverse, heart feelings, prince of cups in reverse, Heart feelings, the three of wands to the five of pentacles, the queen of pentacles in reverse, the six of cups in reverse to the prince of wands and the ace of pentacles. Beautiful. Wow. The hierophant with commitment. Let's see. Six of wands in reverse to the queen of swords, the sun in reverse. 
Seven of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. In, okay. All right. We're going to stop with... We're going to stop with... The Queen of Swords. Okay? Because this is all somewhat repeating right here. Okay? All right. Let's see what this is about. So, hold on a second. Ah. Uh, that is fruit infused water and it is so freaking good so what you need to know about me before we go any further is that i'm going to swear if i haven't sworn already i can guarantee you i'm probably going to swear okay and sometimes i smoke my vape sometimes i smoke it on camera sometimes i don't but you're in my house and this is what I do. And we're fixing to throw down these cards. This is a serious reading. So if any of my ways offend you, probably should go home right about now because we're fixing to throw down this whole reading. All right. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse to the Two of Pentacles. So the two of cups in reverse to the two of pentacles. So uh, an imbalance, breakups, two of pentacles, prioritization, balance to the nine of swords in reverse. Oh, painful lesson. Oh, I see where this is going already, Pisces. I do, I do, I do. Four of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Maybe, right? I see where those cards are going. I have no idea what the rest of this is. So, the Ace of Wands. Inspired, passionate new beginnings. Trying to take root in your life or coming towards you, let's just say, okay? So, passionate new beginnings coming towards you. Look at that. The Six of Wands. Victory, progress, success after a battle. Okay, understood. To the world in reverse. See, see, spirit, your life is trying to push this way. It's trying to push for an inspired, passionate new beginning. And the six of wands is victory, progress, and success the world, right? So you can put an end to this cycle right here and move into a new phase of your life. Through critical self-analysis only will this turn in the upright. So let me ask about this. The world in reverse, please. What is this about? What is the world in reverse about? Well, the six of swords heading in a different direction. Look at that. Okay, so headed in a different direction to the moon. The moon talking about your intuition, your subconscious mind, your inside, right? This is Pisces and Cancer. And it's talking about the swishing that goes on inside of us. I'm a Taurus sun, but I'm Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, right? So I totally feel this moon card. I mean, totally feel this moon card. <sighs> So get out, the moon, all up in your feelings, really searching yourself. To the queen of swords, decision needs to be made. To the four of, so four of wands in reverse, about the lack of harmony in a situation. To the ten of swords in reverse, Re this is going to bring regeneration, revitalization into your life to the three of wands, um, into the future, having some foresight, look ahead, look ahead to the hanged man. Okay, so the page of swords. Okay, so in the hanged man energy, right? In the hanged man energy, you are being asked, well, first and foremost, Major Arcana, Spirit speaking straight to you, if this were your own reading, okay? 
I'm here to tell you, you can search and search and search for the wisdom and the guidance and the understanding um, on random YouTube videos, or you can just cut to the chase and get your own cards read. That is the only way that you are going to know what your true real journey is. And if this was your reading, I would be assigning this moon card and this hanged man card as spirit speaking to you through the major arcana, okay? So what this is saying in that respect is go, there is a blockage in your life. It's this back here, which we're going to read in a second, right? We're going to go back and read this. There's a blockage in your life. There's a new passionate thing on its way into you and you need to get out and get away from this blockage. You have to unblock yourself through critical self-analysis. We'll get to that, okay? The moon, spirit, major arcana, telling you to search your soul, search yourself, not just soul searching, but you yourself as the moon card. Tap in to, to, to the woo-woo that we Pisces people have and really feel something out. The queen of swords and then come out of feeling that out and feeling your way through it and make a decisive decision, a decisive decision about the instability, the lack of long-term harmony because of this bullshit back here. When you do that, you will be renewed, right? The Ten of Swords representing this painful bullshit back here in the reverse, right? Your pain from this needs to be used to the Three of Wands to look into the future. And that's what Spirit wants you to understand in the inside of yourself, Pisces. You have to make a decision and the decision that you make is going to lead the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands, but it's blocked. It can't go any further until you decide to go further. And Spirit says, go in your, inside yourself and make a decision. To the hangman, pause, surrender, your personal will being broken, the thinking chair, the page of swords, communication, a new way of thinking to the two of swords. So in this hanged man energy, also the card of Pisces, hello, also the card of Pisces, okay? What spirit is saying, being major arcana, is that what you need to do when you come out of this moon energy as the queen of swords, making decisions that are in your best interest and for your future, what you are to be doing to be the queen of swords is going inside Pisces once again and beginning a new way of thinking about a situation because you are at a very important crossroads. This world wants to go upright because the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands is waiting for you, right? To the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is the reevaluation of a belief system. If you want to be blunt about it, that's anything that you can possibly explain the Hierophant in reverse as, be in reverse as being all boils down to the reevaluation of some kind of belief system. And being major arcana, that's what spirit is saying right here. Okay? This belief system over here needs to be reevaluated and thought about um, because it's not working for you anymore. And spirit is trying to get you to close out some phase or cycle of your life. And they're telling you to go inside and pull this shit out of you and emerge as the queen of swords in the hanged man energy as you're formulating a new perspective because you're at a huge crossroads and you need to reevaluate the way that you believe about something. Now, let's go back here and see what the bullshit is, okay? What is the blockage? What is the bullshit? That is the question of the hour. All right. All right. 
So what's the bullshit? Well, the bullshit is Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The bullshit is that you have standards. It's about perfectionism, okay? And you hold a bar, right? That not too many people can reach. Not that not too many people can reach. It's also about lacking ambition and lacking focus. Maybe even giving up on working on something. What's the lacking ambition and the lacking of focus? It's, it's, it's associated with some kind of relationship that has ended. A breakup of some sort, romantic or otherwise. A break in a relationship. And this break in this relationship, what you're doing is you're taking the painful lesson of this relationship and you're holding it as a shield against any kind of new beginning in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're taking the pain, you're giving up, right? You've given up, put it this way, you've given up on love, okay? Or you've given up on trying to fix something or create something. You just, you just, you just don't want it, right? Well, the Two of Pentacles comes in and says, prioritize, balance this out within yourself. Balance it out. Balance it out, right? What do you need to balance out? Well, the nine of swords in reverse. This painful lesson. This was a painful lesson of some sort, and it does not have to be love, but it sure as hell can be love. This is a general tarot card reading. General. This could be anything in your, this could be your relationship with your freaking dog, okay? It could be anything. And I read for animals, by the way. I do. Did y'all know that? I really do. I read for animals. Um, maybe I'll put my dog's tarot card reading out one time just for shits and giggles and see what you guys think about that. So anyway, so the nine of swords in reverse. Um, painful lesson, right? Use this painful lesson. Prioritize your shit. Use this painful lesson, whatever this was for you, as a learning tool instead of as a barrier. Instead of not wanting to engage at all because of whatever the beef is here with the Two of Cups in reverse, instead of not wanting to engage at all, use what you learned about yourself because apparently you've learned something because the world card wants you to go forward, but it's not going to want you to go forward until you've learned everything that you need to learn, right? So you're using, there was something for you to learn in whatever this situation was right here, okay? And you have learned it, but you don't know that you've learned it yet. <laughs> Two of Pentacles comes in and says, balance, prioritize, right? This is learning. This is the act of learning, right? Balancing out the pros and the cons. What was, what was bad? What was good? Whatever this is for you, okay? To the Nine of Swords in reverse. This painful lesson. Learn from this painful lesson. To the Four of Pentacles. Get control of yourself. Get control of this situation. Pull yourself to fucking gather because the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands is waiting for you and the World card wants to turn upright, but everybody's just waiting for you to get in the canoe and set sail. Stop blocking. You are blocking. That's what the blockage is right there. You are not using the lesson that you learned from some bad relationship that happened in your life. You're not using the lesson that you learned. Um, you're, you're kind of wallering. And the Eight of Pentacles is like giving up. You, you're kind of wallering for some reason, right? And you need to learn. Learn what you need to learn and move the fuck on. Because life is waiting. 
but but you're just like Ugh. right new belief system Whew, holy cow all right hold on you guys i gotta smoke a new belief system queen of swords a decision inside yourself hard very life altering huh Ten of Swords. Withdraw. Think about it. Wow, you guys. All right. So, so what we have here is this. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Deception. Backstabbing. Endings. Cruelty. Betrayal. Abandonment caused a lot of emotional dissatisfaction or this is coming towards you and will cause a lot of emotional dissatisfaction. That's the bullshit, okay? So the betrayal from this, right, that left you so unhappy. What the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is saying is that it's a lack of success, a lack of reward. And if you keep doing it the way you've always done it, you're always going to get what you've always gotten, right? to the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. So this is about being, um, so this is about you being unfocused, unfocused on the future because of what happened in the past to the lovers in a significant relationship in your life, okay? This is the blockage. It says the exact same thing this top row said, but with less detail. Okay? This is the blockage in your life right here with the wheel. <sighs> Tower moment. Upheaval and chaos that is meant to bring an awakening. The tower is your own doing and nobody else's doing. The powers that be don't point and say, Tower, tower, you get a tower and you get a tower. They don't know that's not how it goes, right? The tower is when you are left to your own free will. And this is the consequences of your mistakes. The tower. So what this is saying is that if you're left to your own free will, Pisces, there will be a tower moment. This is a warning this is foresight, foreshadowing. If you are left to your own free will and you choose to remain in the blockage, there will be a tower moment that comes into your life if it hasn't happened already. It has to do with the Six of Cups. It either has to do with your family and your home, or it has to do with someone or something coming back from your past. And it's right underneath the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands as well. So for some of you, there could be some kind of offer on the table as well or coming towards you, okay? If left to your own free will, there will be a tower moment. The Six of Cups, reuniting, reconciling, memories, nostalgia. Let's see. The Page of Cups in reverse. Emotional immaturity, a creative block, a creative block, block. Judgment in reverse. Ignore the call. The Emperor in reverse. I'm going to clarify this. Spirit, tell me what this emperor in reverse is and judgment in reverse too, for that matter. I got judgment, but if they go together and I'm missing something. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Options, choices, decisions. Okay, so this emperor in reverse is somebody that's coming towards you. And Spirit's trying to warn you that that they are the emperor in reverse. That they are controlling, domineering, or it is if it's a job offer or something, it is controlling and domineering, um, possibly out of control, out of control, so out of control on the inside that the only thing that they can control is the outside. Seven, maybe this is you too, right? 
Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions. The Nine of Wands, hesitant, tired. Same lesson, same thing. Remember, Spirit's trying to tell you, you've learned what you need to learn here. Why do you want to repeat it? This is not in your best interest. If left to your own devices, there's going to be a tower moment. If you go back to the past, and I hate to say, but possibly a tower moment in your home or your family, maybe a divorce. Tell you the truth, I keep seeing a fire. Honestly, I hate to say that. I didn't want to say that. I hesitated to say it, but I do. I see some kind of, of fire. But nevertheless, okay, nevertheless, um, Spirit says, bad decision. Stop deciding to not decide and ignore the call. The emperor in reverse, because this person or this situation is not in your best interest. It is um, controlling and domineering. And it's not good for you. You have decisions to make. Oops. To the nine of wands in reverse. Do you want to continue to fight this fight? Do you want to continue to bang your head against a brick wall? Do you want to continue doing what you've always done and getting what you've always gotten? King of swords in reverse. Holding on to anger, a lack of accountability, dishonesty. What's this King of Swords about? What's this King of Swords about? I need to use this deck. What's this King of Swords in reverse about? What's this King of Swords in reverse about? What's this King of Swords in reverse about? What's this about? Wow. It's manipulation. In reverse. This is a bad situation for you. The magician in reverse. Manipulation. It can also be potential to the lovers, yet again, the choices that you make in your life, to temperance, purpose. The choices that you make in your life do have purpose. And you do have tons and tons of potential. Hence, the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So much potential. But you need to reevaluate very carefully the way that you believe about something. The way, why it is you have this, this shield up around you. Protecting yourself from the pain of the past. So what you're doing, you're protecting yourself from the pain of the past. And Spirit says, it's time to move on. You've spent too much time here. You've learned what you need to learn, but you have to employ the painful lesson. Balance it. Prioritize what it is you're supposed to be learning so you can move forward in your life. You have tons of potential. To the lovers, the choices that you make in your life temperance need to be healthy they need to be purposeful they need to come from a place of healing within you and you can't have this if you have this deflector shield all up around you it's like star wars it's like ping 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 ping, ping. it just kind of flies off right This is also saying to me, because of the emperor in reverse and the king of swords in reverse, the magician in reverse, manipulation, the lovers in some type of significant relationship to temperance that you need to be very careful about engaging with for what it's worth. Justice in reverse in the center of this spread. This is talking about an injustice. A lack of accountability. It's your lack of accountability, Pisces. It is. It's your lack of accountability. You know, if you're going to talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. 
And if you're going to be all spiritual and shit, you better get ready for things to start changing in your life. There, It's like the Hare Krishnas, for real. You give any inclination that you just might be interested. Spirit's like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, check this out. We're going to, we're, we're going to, we're going to awaken you and show you the best and highest path that you can take. If you will agree to help us save humanity, they're knocking, right? They're knocking. Now you're accountable. Justice in reverse. Now you're accountable, right? You want to be spiritual. You have to be accountable because as you begin to awaken and as your spirituality begins to grow and you begin to understand things in a way that you never have before, you become accountable. You do. What are you accountable for? Well, learning this lesson. Be aware. Be awake. Get woke, Pisces. Get woke. And look around you. Look at the lessons that you've learned. Look a little ways back. Look around you and look a little ways forward. Right? crossroads you're accountable hangman and you better think long and hard about this inside of pisces inside of you the card of pisces staying in the past whatever that was for you and building a wall to protect yourself so nothing like that ever happens to you again family love business friendships doesn't matter Building a wall so that can never happen to you again is blocking you from success in your life. It's true. To the hermit in reverse. Withdrawn, isolated, lonely, not listening to your intuition. Where's my cards? For real? Oh. <laughs> okay. What else? What else? Tell me about the hermit in reverse, please. Tell me about the hermit in reverse. Tell me about the hermit in reverse, please. Tell me about the hermit in reverse. Spiritual poverty, right? That's what you're going to be in. That's the state that you're in right now, whether you realize it or not, or entering into or coming out of, okay? In a state of spiritual poverty. Withdrawn. Deep inside yourself. Give this a good think. Because you're, you're accountable now for your spiritual growth. And it's an injustice to your life. For you to remain in a cycle where you've already learned what you need to learn, but instead of employing it and using it as a stepping stone, you're using it as a deflector shield so it doesn't happen ever again. Okay? The Four of Pentacles. Protection. Lockdown. Right? This is Pisces on lockdown. I got my little security. I got my walls up. I mean, look at this card, right? I mean, he's sitting there with walls all around him and he's locked down, right? He's like, I'm good right here. My back's to the wall and I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. King of Swords in reverse. This is also a lack of accountability. Because the King of Swords in the upright is all accountability. He's all accountable for all kinds of accountable things. He's like responsible, right? The King of Swords in reverse is not responsible. He's not accountable. And he is angry, right? And I think you hold anger. I think that's part of why you haven't metamorphosized into the person who's learned this lesson instead of the person who is who is sitting on this lesson, right? Um, if you can't be true to yourself, you can't be true to anybody else. And 
And Pisces is the nature of Pisces is not to be Pisces is feels, you know, and to be walled off and isolated. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Your future is not found in your anger from the past. It's not. The Eight of Cups. Walk away from it. Abandon ship. Abandon old ideologies with the Hierophant in reverse. Abandon it. Walk away from it. Because the only thing you will find holding on and protecting yourself from the past is disappointment in your future. Two of Swords, major crossroads, right? Major crossroads. This is okay. Major crossroads. To the Four of Wands. Major crossroads in your life, trying, searching for harmony, happiness, stability, and structure. Two of Swords, right? Major crossroads. Major crossroads in your life. To the Four of Wands. For long term. Long term foundation and harmony in your life. Stability. Eight of Swords all up in your head tied up in your head the six of pentacles wanting an equal give and take relationship to the queen of cups in reverse but not having that not having that at all to the four of swords in reverse a lack of progress mentally restless Mentally restless to mentally restless with the Eight of Swords trapped in the mind to the Ten of Cups. About happiness, emotional fulfillment. I see. Right? Right? You're trapped in your own mind, Pisces. Trapped in your own mind and trapped in your own emotions. Because you think you will never have the Four of Wands. You think you'll never have it. Because you're so walled off from whatever happened in the past that you feel like you will never have happiness and harmony and long-term stability to the Six of Pentacles. In, in the kind of relationship that you want to have. Remember in the very beginning, you had really high standards about what you're willing to engage in. And believe me, I know, I understand. I got literally a list of 10 things, right? The first seven are not negotiable, right? The next three, maybe I can give and take a little bit. I have some high ass standards when it comes to who it is that I'm going to spend my time with because my time is precious. My free time to make room in my life for a love interest would have to be an act of God. <laughs> Seriously. And they would have to like horses and they would have to like to go camping and horseback riding and traveling and have the ability and the money to do so. So to tag along with me um, is, is, takes a certain kind of person, right? And I'm really not willing to compromise on what it is that I want. And quite frankly, I am walled off. I am in my own way, right? Only because of what I just said, right? I don't have time for bullshit, right? Either we jive and we get along and we can go do what I want is somebody to integrate into my life, right? I want to, I want to scoop up a stray and just integrate him into my life and carry on. And that's just not how things work, right? So I'm walled off. So I understand where this is coming from. Some of y'all are walled off, um, wallering in pain though, wallering in 
the fact of what was instead of seeing what the lesson is to move forward, right? And you, and you worry that you're not going to have a relationship like that or, or a situation like that. The Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Um, sad about it. The Four of Swords in reverse because there's been a lack of progress. There's a lack of progress because you're walled off. Hence the Eight of Swords, right? In a mental imprisonment, right? The Ten of Cups about emotional fulfillment, but yet you keep yourself walled off. Nine of Wands in reverse. How long are you going to do this? To the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. How long are you going to do this? How long are you going to allow this blockage in your life to stay? When you handle this, right? Temperance in reverse talks about healing. It talks about not purposeful for your life. To the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Immediate short-term focus. So your immediate short-term focus needs to be having some closure and some healing with temperance in reverse, right? Nine of wands in reverse. How long are you going to hold on to this whole thing? To the wheel of fortune in reverse. How long are you going to allow yourself to block your own forward progress in the rest of your life? You are giving this past situation way too much power over your life way too much power over your life. You're letting whatever this was that happened to you in the past control your future. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't. The sun, your happiness, your success, and your vitality depends upon your ability to heal yourself, learn your lesson, and carry on with your badass self, Pisces. Your happiness, your success, and your vitality will come from it. But we got the old El Diablo right there, right? An attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Remember, we talked about spiritual growth and accountability. Whatever this is on this side for you is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And you will not find happiness, success, and vitality while you are chained to the foot of this attachment that is restricting you from growing and being and having success in your life. Wow. Let's see. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment is the only thing to be found here. The Seven of Swords, it is futile to stay in this place. The Chariot in reverse. Get a hold of yourself. It's a need for self-discipline. Get a hold of yourself. Queen of Cups in reverse. Get a hold of your emotions. Seven of Wands and face the challenge of... The Ace of Cups in reverse, your repressed emotions. Prince of Cups in reverse, your hurt feelings. Three of Wands, have some foresight for the future. The Five of Pentacles, quit being insecure. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see, to the Six of Cups in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Quit being insecure to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is talking about a kind of isolation, right? I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is like the spinster sister that knits all day, right? For real. That's what, and you know, no offense. I mean, they're cool too. But nevertheless, that's what the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is about. Um, to the Six of Cups in reverse, right? Talking about being stuck in the past, don't quit being stuck in the past. Prince of Wands, take some inspired action to move towards your future. Ace of Pentacles, because that's where the new shit is. That's where the good shit is. That's where the gold is, Pisces. It's in your future. But you have to take inspired action to do it. The Hierophant, what do you believe? Who are you? What's your identity? What are you, what are you committing your life to? What does your future look like to the six of wands in reverse? Are you going to continue to have a lack of progress and a lack of success? Queen of swords. Or are you going to pull yourself together in your super Pisces powers with the moon in the, in the hangman right there? 
Are you going to pull yourself together with your super Pisces powers and emerge from all of this as the Queen of Swords? Make a decision, set some boundaries, slice and dice, fairness, honesty, truth, maybe to yourself, and move the fuck forward. I carry on with your bad self. There's good stuff waiting for you. But man, you got to adjust some stuff in your mental in a bad way, Pisces. Adjust some stuff in your mental. If you need wisdom, guidance, clarification, understanding of anything that was said in this reading, because I'm assuming if you're still here, it resonated with you, right? Get your cards read. You can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com. If it's not me, get your cards read by somebody who floats your boat and it will not hurt my feelings. I just want you to get your cards read because if you're struggling with this, this is huge. The, look at all these major arcana everywhere. Major arcana everywhere. This is a huge life-changing moment for you. And you have to realize something from the past in order to move into your future. Do not make any kind of decisions off of anyone's general tarot card readings, okay? Tarot is an intimate one-on-one -on -one tool that is supposed to be between the medium and the recipient, not to an auditorium of, you know, 80,000 people. Just not. Get your cards read. Cut to the chase. Get your cards read. All right, you guys, that was your reading. Namaste.